moves there. Don't put a lot of emphasis on board breaking. Uh, that really doesn't have a whole lot to do with real fighting. It's not part of our sense. We do it for fun sometimes. And sparring, that aspect of it, we've been kind of watching these guys spar in class. Of course, the white and gold belts don't even, that's not part of their curriculum. But these are things that we've already looked at. And again, that's what uh, these tips mean to us. And you might have five tips, but come out here and just totally fall apart. Well, maybe you're not ready yet. And that happens sometimes, but not very often. We're very good at our school setting students up for success. So that when they come out here, they have a comfortable experience, and we set them up for success to come out here and, and succeed. Um, but we don't want to pass them if they're not ready. So some, you know, kids are different. You might have three different orange belts, and they don't all look the same because that's just human nature. Some kids walked in that door with amazing athletic ability and balance and agility, and some walked in, they couldn't walk and chew gum at the same time. But they can all get there, just they're going to look a little bit different as we approach the, the black belt world. Okay? So that's, uh, that's what we're looking at today. You guys did a great job. Let's give them a hand for their effort. If you're in row one, jump up here real quick with Luis, please. Bria, could you start row two? And Gabe, could you start row three? Well, let's finish row two. Row two, let's go. <laughs> and row three. Row three. All right. Guys, everybody in row one, have a seat. Everybody in row two, have a seat. Rows one, you know, worked out today that everybody in the back row is tested for gold. It doesn't always work out that way. But everybody in row one, everybody in row two has been through this procedure before. So uh, with row three, I'm going to kind of talk them through it, explain to them how it's going to be going on. And then rows two and one, you'll... We'll kind of start moving a little faster because you've already been through it before. Gabe, if you'll turn and face me, and everybody in row three, if you'll face me, please. And we're going to kind of uh, lead around here around Brea and Luis. Come here, guys. Come here. Come here. And go to Mr. Herza. Face the front, shoulder to shoulder. All right. How you doing, Elijah? Now, I've got Elijah here in front of me. I want everybody to do what I'm doing to Elijah. Take your belt off. The belt that is on the ground, leave it alone. But take your belt off. Okay? Divide it in half like I've done with Elijah and loop it around your neck. Okay? And then sit tight. Mr. Herzer, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Walker, I are going to put a gold belt on you because you have earned it today. change now that these young people have moved from white belt to gold belt don't bring them to white belt classes anymore you'll insult them okay <laughs> so the class times might be a little bit different if you need your old schedule still applies just come to gold belt or what we call intermediate if you need another one you can see uh, myself or mr wilson or mr Walt before you go but you guys are now officially promoted to gold belt uh, you are officially recognized as a gold belt by the Utsuka family, that's pretty cool. Okay? Master Utsuka I, the Grandmaster, has passed away. His son, uh, Master Utsuka II, is now the master. And Mr. Herzer and I have trained with him a number of times, and he's the authentic head of the Wadoru system. And he would look at you because of the sanctioning powers that Mr. Herzer and I have, and you are a gold belt in Wadoru. Okay? All right? So that's kind of cool. All right? We recognize the gold belt all over the world. All right? So, who do we need to thank for that? Who do we need to thank for the fact that we've done such a cool thing today and we're, we've got a real authentic gold belt? Who do we need to thank? Your parents, thank you. All right, we need to thank our parents. Don't forget to thank your parents. Not just for their support in karate, but for their support in everything you do. 